the hangman. Okay, your underlying energy for the reading here is the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, I like this. The Ace of Pentacles does indicate something long term, something that we, you know, that's, you know, that can that lead to the potential for longevity. Um, stability, support, and security. And you have the the, uh, the hermit with this. So this could indicate here that there was some time of reflection and really looking within the self and finding your confidence now in regards to getting something that you're looking for, or you know, you know, or at least being able to commit to something that can lead to, to a you know this sort of long term relationship here. I like it. Now your current state of being is the chariot. Okay, the chariot is the focus, is the heart. So there is this, you know, this this will, this free will, this 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 willpower that's pushing through. This could be that there's a situation where there's a need for this balance to be taken place, so that way there can be momentum, that there can be movement, some sort of progress. Um, but I do feel like there is this progress that's happening for some of you guys that, you know, that have got their, you know, you got your balance all sorted out already, you're balancing yourself, you're making things happen. I really see that happening. Um, I really like that. Um, but your, uh, your desired outcome is the page of cups. You guys know what you want. You guys know what you want. You know what you want to go for. And you guys, I feel like for some of you guys, you may even want to be in love, start something small. Nothing maybe, nothing really serious exactly, but you want a beginning. You want something, something sweet, something innocent, something that's, that, you know, that you can enjoy without having to completely dive in deep. You know what I mean? And I feel like that is something that's completely understandable, right? But the thing here is, right, as though this is energy so loving and sweet and, and gentle, right, and soft, like there is this emotional aspect to it that's very hard to go into, right? It's a little bit, it's still hard to go out there and find love. Even within the current relationship that you're in, it's very hard to re 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 you know, restart that love. Why? Well, because there were some situations in the past here that left you guys feeling like you guys have lost something. There was a great loss here in the past, right? It feels like you lost a hell of a lot. And you did, right? Three out of five, uh, three out of five of those cups have been spilled. And the, the reminder is that you want one, have one of those cups in your hand still. Like, as if you notice, there's two cups here. One of them is still upright in her hand with the liquid inside. I think there's even a fish. And then there's another cup behind her. So it's like this loss in the past that still is lingering. It still hurts. And it's still very apparent of what it is that's lost. And the shift in focus is that there is, you know, there's a new love. There's something out there. I mean, there is this, you know, ability to start something fresh. But it all starts from where you shift your focus, where the focus is at. And right now, the blockage is truly the comfort zone, the Nine of Pentacles. Like, it's good to be independent. It's good to have confidence. I see you have gotten it back in the past here with the Hermit. But the thing here is, it's like there may be a gilded cage now something that's keeping you from being able to truly embrace the love that comes in. Now it's important to have the queen, the nine of pentacles here too, because it's also a good recognize, it was a good like, like checkup to pretty much see where, you know, where you are, right? You're surrounded by abundance. You're actually very content. You're comfortable where you are. And it's like, as much as you want love, you also don't really want to leave this place where you've built stability. Finally, it's like, it's, just, it's a long time coming. Hell no. This is pretty much what it's like. But at the same time, you know, it can be boring by yourself, soloing this. I know you can do it by yourself, but there's like, there's something else there. There's something else regarding like, there's something about connecting with someone else, something, something special. And it's like, there is this desire to have that. Well, Scorpio, you, your ancient ruler is Mars. So this means to go, this means with the king of wands in your best path to follow, go for it, make it happen. You can do it. The king of wands is very passionate. He's, he knows what he wants. He knows how he feels. He takes action based off of how he feels about things. He never does anything he doesn't actually enjoy and something that makes him feel, you know, ugh, unaccomplished. You know what I mean? And I really feel like Scorpio, this king of wands is, and it is really this hidden passion that's within you, right? Your passion is honestly not so hidden as <laughs> it's usually when you, we kind of people can tend to tell when you're passionate about something because usually you guys 
you know, it just kind of just, it shows, right? It's just, you feel it. It's so strong. It's so intense. You can feel it. Like, for instance, if you watch Gordon Ramsay, right? He's a Scorpio. How he is with food. It's so passionate. It's true. And we can tell, like, everybody can tell when you're passionate about something. Everybody can tell. And you're proud of that passion. You have no reason to hide it. You have no reason to keep it to yourself. Right? It belongs to you, but it doesn't mean that you, you know, you care about hiding that so much. And this, the thing that's the most precious to you is your emotions. Right? Don't be, don't, don't be afraid to go out there and make it happen. Right? It's not about fear. I'm not saying you guys are afraid or anything. It really is just that there is this hang up here from the past. What was lost? You know, if you could ever do that again, if you could even deal with somebody that could potentially do that to you again, it's hard to do. But this, don't count on this. Count on something else. Count on, you know, on on a change of perspective. The hangman and the outcome right now, right? The situation. This the situations, you know, as long as you've learned from the sit, you know, from this lesson here. Even though I'm not saying that you deserve it, that's not what I'm saying. But there is something that always happens that we must get from something like this, right? There's something that we had to absorb, something that we can utilize for the next time around. So that way we can ensure and enrich in our next relationships. And I feel like with the King of Wands is telling is telling you to be passionate if you want to. Go for it. Be a romantic. Be yourself. If this is something you want, run with it. And I can tell because I can tell this person potentially may shabby because you can see. You see how you feel. You know how you feel. It's very clear. And this is the also what is the sun? The potential for happiness. You can see all sides. You can see everything. There is not a path in sight that keeps that that you can see that you can't see that can lead you to happiness. Nothing. So you are you can find happiness, and you know where, where happiness leads. And I feel like it's this with this individual here, this person that could be a fire sign, or this person that could be you know it could be anybody, Cancer, anyone. But you have this passion here to start something new, and you know where it, what it needs, what it takes to get there. It's all about following that light now. And your hopes and fears, you have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, you don't want to be stressed out. You don't want to be depressed, right? You don't want to feel like you you don't you don't want to feel like you could lose this relationship at any moment, like you did the last time. You don't want to ever feel like that, and I completely get it. But don't have that as your main focus. Focus on what you can do at this moment. Focus on what you have right now. The two of cups, right? Shift the focus to something different so you don't ever have to continue to think about what could happen, what could happen, what could happen. Because this is like, I see the nine of swords as the what if card. I was just telling Libra that you have the what ifs. What, if, what happens if I do this? Don't be afraid about it. Don't, don't let your thoughts and the, you know, the stress keep you from achieving what your your actual goals are. We're still in Leo season. We still have the Leo North node. It hasn't shifted over to Cancer yet. Right now, it's time to focus on what we want to do and then go for it. Take action. Okay. And if you can't take action right now, that's okay. The outcome has the hangman here. And I don't actually mind it considering that Mars doesn't go retrograde, doesn't go direct again until the 28th, 27th of, Oct of, of August. So yeah, this situation here regarding, you know, taking action, you don't have to start immediately. You can take the time you did you need to see something from a different perspective, but the the this, this stagnancy in this, this situation if there's nothing that can be done if there's nothing being done the the king of wands comes up as a, as um as the advice to remind you that there is something that needs to be done and taking action is where it calls steps stems from taking action and making that relationship happen because right now you're in your your you know there's this comfort zone right yes you're independent you're stronger but there's no action Perhaps the Page of Cups is not only somebody offering you love, it could be that you want to offer someone else love. Alright, let's see what your Whispers of Love say for this week. You guys are not afraid. It's more of just like if it's something you want to deal with. If it's just like another risk thing that you want to take. And it's because you had bad results the last time. It's, there's no fear. 
And you don't want to be stressed out about it, which is understandable, but there's no fear. Look at that. Turn on your heart light. Let, amen. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love. Absolutely. Turn on your heart light. That's what I'm saying. It's not about fear. You guys are not afraid. It's more of just hesitance and not sure if you will, you can deal with something like that again. So in a way, I guess it can be a little bit of fear, but it's goosebumps. It's those chills. It's okay. Watch. You're probably going to get uh, it's safe for you to love. Love yourself first. That's what you guys get. Wow. Uh, your self-respect makes you more uh, romantically attractive. Wow, I didn't even get a chance to really shuffle. All right. And that's true. You love yourself by honoring your emotions. Honor them. If you're still mourning on those things, you know, on, on that relationship, the hangman is probably signifying that it's okay. Go ahead and go through those emotions. Feel that pain. Feel everything that you've gone through with that. and But completely release it. That's probably why death came up. Old situations coming up. Something that needed to be released. Some sort of past situation that needed to be released. This is time to let this go. So you can have what you want. You can spread your abundance. You can create more. You can be happy. It all starts when this is loved on and released and when you turn your heart light, heart light right back on. Because it, it's on right now, I feel like. And that's why this person's in your life. You have it on. It's just taking that next step. The action, the, t the step that requires action. That's the step that's, that's the most important at this time. 